Welcome friends, we start to design with a surface in part and our kit is also so here you can see the surface surface model isometric view of this model and at bottom you can see a two orthographic view and it's all the dimension of this model and let's start to design this part actually it is surface design so we have to go first of all open kit and go to start and go in this shape in this shape go to generate to shape design means do gsd gsd work paint now you are in geometrical generate to shape design work paint And make sure to have this all play and create on our own script and now create one point which is attached origin and insert factors which will be this point and now make sure <coughs> we are in geometric research only because we are creating circuit design only in geometric research not in particle now we start with let's start to do in this part <coughs> so first of all we have to create this two circles here so let's start to create this circle so go to get back plane take this z again long from this case position original this point orientation is padded to this here And create one half circle to so go to circle, tap like um, go here arc, select this as a center, and starting point from this, end point to this. And actually, length of this circle is radius, or radius of this circle is 50. And once again. Also close this exit this to this sketch for me and we, we have to create one plane here so creating the plane insert On the plane, otherwise, you can type here so. so the plane type is come here. You can see uh, this type is for plane, and make sure the plane type is opposite from plane from this to this. Uh, so, with this jaguar plane, you are offsetting the value as 150, so make it reverse. Do value as 150. Now go to sketch position and select this plane. Make sure our origin is this orientation. We are giving this. Create one half circle here. And value for this. Circle already see the hundred. Now take it to to the sketch or bench. Now go to multi section surface, and in this section select this way the first section, and this is the second section. And make sure the directions are this is up and this is down. Make sure you. Let's copy. Now you can see how this surface is created. Now let's start to create 
this part so for creating this <coughs> go to sketch pack for the sketch position select this jtx plane origin as this projected point orientation is parallel to this line And now we have to create one circle here which is just coincident to this horizontal axis and the dimension for this circle is actually before that we have to create one plane here from this plane we have to create circle so go to plane and select edit plane make sure on this this distance is 150 now select this plane and go to sketch position and position point as this orientation is parallel to this make it proper align and round circle which is coincide with this horizontal axis and dimension for the circle is 50 diameter from here it is present at 50 mm sorry actually it is 75 mm Exit the this fifteen. And now we have to create the surface from holding this and we can check them. For creating this also we have to create a fifteen down on the first plane to now for another circle we are creating to again sketch position and select this jet jet and explain origin as this and parallel to this line make it proper align click on another circle and then radius value is 50 From this vertical axis, it is presented towards 75. Now, as you do this, get your And now we are using multi section here. So, go to surface tab and use multi section surface. Select first section as this, second, se second section as this. Now, make it blue that we have to click how it comes. Now it is coming perfect. Just we are replacing this holding surface to here. I think it comes default holding surface. Now exactly this we want at upper side. So select this and go to rotate here. And if you rotate command, we can see go to insert operation. And now you can see here in this tab let translate to rotate into now select rotate here and select this gate 
and compact switch when this switch we want to go up to or rotate like here and change angle we want 90 because we want for particular to be and this we can see here No press ok and exactly similar to this we want to operate the password select this okay, insert and operation here as we want symmetry of this on other side so go to symmetry command make sure to select this surface and choose this get get explain now press ok now you can see how these are created now we don't want a bottom spot so select this and this part by using control by just holding this control button before this make sure to fill this after we can fill this this and this and go to split here in this operation tab you can see a split command and in this cutting element select this xy plane now press ok now you can see after this part is cut but before cutting this undo this we we are filling this part so go to fill command fill command in the surface tab and select this surface and fill this again select this surface it come here as a close control and press ok now select upper arch So now you can see it's all split now. We can split this. When we are splitting now, it can be split for this field command also. Now select this field also, this part also, and this part also, and this part. Now select this split, select this XY plane as a cutting element. Select this, 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 and this part. Split and select this. Okay. Now you can see here some different cutting edges come. So here you can see the preview. So make it keep both side. Exit this. Now first of all we have to join this this and this we have to join so go to here select this and this and go to join command okay join select this field and this field continuously and go to join command this operation tab and make it join and now select this board go to split select this plane Now you can see it is cut perfectly. Now press OK. Now we don't want this inner part. So for that, we have to go to set the couple this on. Go to trim command in here. Now select this part, this inside part. Now make it other side, and this other side. Make it two. Now you can see this upper part is uh, gone, but we also don't want this part also. So go to select this. 
this again choose trim select this part now you can see this part is gone press ok now again we don't want this also so select this first and go to again trim command and now select this now press ok now you can see all this all the all extra extra surfaces are removed now we have to use one tool here also because we have to close this also for closing this before we have to close this line so go to line command and select up to this to this select this point and this one and click ok now go to field command here This is the field command, the surface tab. Now select this upper part and this. Now this closes uh, this surface is closed and exactly same opposite we have to close. So first of all make one line here from this point to this point. Actually the line type is different. So select this line. This point and this point. Now press okay. and now go to again field command here. Select first of all this so same circle and this line. Now you can see that this part is completed. Just select all the surfaces. And this fields also and this join command. Select all which are remaining to be. Now you can see this all part has filled and had this all planes which are not visible. Now you can see our this part is created exactly this. This surface part is created. Similar to this. 